Let's initially start with the Air Mac, right? So powered by the M1 chip and that enables it to be very, very slim, 11.5 millimeters thin all across 24 inch 4.5K retina display. You've got seven very funky color options. I think the only one that's kind of, you know, normal is the silver one. We've got a big update for the camera. It's a 1080p FaceTime HD camera. They've said it's the best camera on a Mac. We've got the best mics in a Mac, six speakers with Dolby Atmos, four uh, up to four USB-C ports. Two of those uh, can be Thunderbolt. Uh, we've got a magnetic power cable, which is pretty cool because it just snaps on. I quite like mm -hmm. that. And then you can also get a Touch ID wireless keyboard so that has uh, a touch id built in completely wireless prices start from 1299 dollars you can pre-order from the 30th of april they will be coming in the second half of may now i want to say initially that man looking at how small these are and how thin these are i know design is subjective and a few people are saying whoa those look ugly but i kind of like the minimal look of these there it's almost like a big ipad on a stand it's so mm -hmm. um 11.5 millimeters is is very thin for a computer like a fully fledged you know m1 computer M1, that you yeah. can use um yes there's a bottom bezel but that's where all of the um you know the process and the fans and everything are so that bottom section fair enough there is that uh, uh that chin shall we say um but yeah, man, like I can see these being picked up. The colors are a bit too funky for my liking. I mean, I wouldn't want something that bright, uh, but you know, never know what the people I was. I, I just joked on, on Twitter that D brand are probably rubbing their hands thinking, okay, this gives us a really good opportunity to, to, to make skins for this. Skins, if you yeah. want something a bit more muted, because I would have liked to have that a space gray, right? Because generally I don't, the bezels on a, on a device should be blacked out. So then you're not, they, they kind of get lost in the background. But I don't know. I'm kind of like I'm. I'm not sure about this whole colorful tactic, but I think the hardware is very impressive, and it just goes to show how um, you know Apple is going all out on the whole M1 ecosystem. Oh yeah. I, I, so so first off, Apple has won this year on computing. Let's just mm -hmm. call it what it is. Um, other than high end gaming computing, which AMD is winning that 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 battle, but Apple's won that. Mm -hmm. I think second, when you talk about the color, I. Like when you started talking about it, I, I realized it's for it's for the the home user because the home computing user has changed from 2019. 2019 laptops were king, right? We wanted to get more portable, move around. You know, everyone was trying to get more power into the laptop, which Apple finally did. But they, you know, they didn't really redesign the MacBook. Now you're working from home, or your kids are are schooling from home. We know that we're entering a world where there's a hybrid. We're going to be hybriding in some fashion. So having something that matches your style or you just like the color is just is good for everyone. Okay. Right? Yep. And then I, but when it comes to design, I like the design. I think that thin frame look, again, reminds you of, of the iPad on the floating, you know, the floating keyboard stand yep. that you have with yep. the iPad. Uh, it looks like that. I don't like that bezel chin because I don't think it should be there. I think you could have redesigned it in different ways to do that. That's just me because it just, it throws me off. It's always annoying because when you see it on the side and the back, it looks so nice. Then you come around the front, you're like, ooh, girl, come on. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit of that. Um, I will say though, what I am interested to see and I'm excited about is are the microphones and the speakers because, because of the new design there's enough space to put six speakers in there and then you've got you know apple's really done good jobs with their microphones all the time so mm -hmm. um hearing the microphones on there and being able to use it i think it's it, those are the kind of little things i like i do like the keyboard with the touch id i'm i'm glad they are joining you know they've come to the windows world of having that kind of security logging which is just easy and simple you know like it kind of it fits the apple monkey of you know just easy connection and easy transition between one device or another but i mean we were expecting this to some degree and yeah. we like what we saw in there and i mean honestly i think a lot of people are just going to enjoy it and get to experience m1 a different way and i think this is probably the true entrance of m1 with the MacBook 13, that was just for us to make sure that we know the M1 works. This is now the public going, 
oh, this is the new Mac because it looks new, right? It looks new, it looks fresh, it looks, it looks. It's that different. visual. It's that visual cue, yeah. isn't it? When you see something that's completely redesigned, then it's just like because you know you, most people don't want to get into specifics of anything technical. They see a new product, it looks new, it's fresh, and it's mm -hmm. got the new components, right? And but but I I think it's going to sell very well. And the emphasis that they had on the audio and the video, because um, you know finally 1080p. I mean we've been asking that for forever. But then they also talked a lot about the ISP and how it works to give you the best video quality possible. And again, this is going to the, the era of COVID where we are, you know, doing calls over Zoom and, you know, teams Class, and whatnot. You, yeah, you're doing it's, classes, school, all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.